Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for the day. This is your daily tarot. I hope you're fantastic. I hope everything is going well for you. So let's see what we have here. Pull out a message for Aries. Okay, we got the card of celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. Go out, have a good time. All right, it could also be, to me, um, it flipped out with wisdom. So there could be something here where you're learning or finding out some information. You're gaining some knowledge and it's good news. Celebration would be good news, happy news. Okay, so I'm doing this fairy theme. <laughs> so, Okay, so Spirit, what are the messages here for Aries? What do they need to see or acknowledge for today, Sunday, the 5th of September? Okay, let's see what's on the bottom. The Page of Wands. Page of Wands energy is charming, self-confident, impulsive, very creative. It could be some good news you're receiving as well. It's a messenger. Something about you, that you're passionate about. It could also be that you're feeling really youthful. Um, you have energy today. Maybe not energy, but you could just feel creative or inspired. So the, this is the Knight of Wands, I believe. Let's see, Prince of Spring. Optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, and energetic. Go after your dreams, do something fun. Um, do something where you can, you know, use your energy. Three of Swords in the Crossing. There could have been some kind of painful event here or painful information that you recently learned um, that caused you a little bit of pain. It's minor arcana, it's not a tower, but it's, you know, it's some painful news you may have found out. Wow, the Ace of Wands. It's time to take action. It's about new passion, new inspiration, springing into action, having a new opportunity of sorts. So there's a lot of fire surrounding whatever happened or whatever you found out. Balance, temperance energy, tempering your emotions, being patient, being cooperative. The two of cups is what you're gonna be finding out. Love and harmony, a commitment to someone, forgiveness, a relationship between two people where there's very powerful emotions. There's a strong emotional connection between you and another person. There's also excitement or energy. The emperor. Okay, so your energy is very strong. Emperor is someone who has personal power. They're in control of their own environment, their own life. So the, ener the emperor is coming in here. Now it could be another Aries. Um... To me, it's empowered, like you're feeling very empowered, bold. So your personal energy comes up as Hierophant. Um, doing things that are traditional or spiritual, but also it could be ethical or moral. 
you have a set of principles. The sun card is around you. Happiness, great joy, plans that work out perfectly. An idea that leads to a reward, a great blessing in your life. The seven of cups is your hope or your fear. Seven of cups is when you're confused because you have a lot of options or choices to make. Um, you're, you can feel pulled in many directions but it's coming up as sort of like what you don't want. You don't want to be sort of in this confused energy. Justice is the outcome. Happiness, joy, um, regarding something that is fair, equal, objective. It says here you will win in the end. Uh, the energy of justice is Libra. What is perceived as fair, balanced, equal, the sword and the scales, the double-edged sword of the truth with the scales of equality. And justice is major arcana, so it it is more, so the justice is, any major arcana is sort of um, more than any minor arcana. So basically what's happening here is you've been patient, you've been cooperative, um, you've been doing the right thing, following a set of principles or doing what you need to do. And something very positive with the Sun card is going to be coming out as a result of you being very strong and resilient. There is a partnership of some kind. Now, it could be you and anyone, but there's a strong bond. There's a connection where it works. It's harmony. The justice as the outcome is very good here. It was followed by the Nine of Cups, a wish that comes true, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, but it could be just contentment um, with a satisfying outcome here of some kind of problem that you're going through. Something could be stressing you out. It could be something that was hurtful for you. Three of Swords is in the crossing. It looks like because of your strong personality, you were able to stick to what you believe is right. And then it says here, the emotional satisfaction will come about because of the equality, the fairness, the justice. So you'll have emotional peace and satisfaction coming from what's believed to be fair. So there's a fair outcome. And um, justice also is indicating that this is going to be in your favor. Um, if it wasn't in your favor, it would be more of a five of water or some kind of letdown. But it is showing up as the sun in your environment. Your energy is Hierophant, which to me, Hierophant is Taurus. It's also very religious. It's the Pope in some decks. Um, it's conforming to a set of standards and principles where you're not shaken you're not like thrown off balance so we have here a page of cups behind that a new relationship um the princess actually could be the knight of cups whatever it's a messenger with um good news happy no happy news an emotional message I'm just going like five or six cards back to see what is underlying. Underlying here is trying to make something happen in your favor, trying to manipulate and make a situation work in your favor. Um, so on the other side, underlying this, so it's underlying, this is not the outcome, but underlying was you could be waiting right now, um, the, the um, hangman, so you could be waiting, like pausing, just waiting for this good news. And with the Knight of Cups here and the Nine of Water, the Sun, the Emperor, the Hierophant, this wisdom that you're getting as a result of this message to me says you're waiting for your justice. And based on this card poll, you know, you have someone who's on your side as well. Ace of Wands is you're very motivated or inspired to make this situation happen. You may have had to take some actions. 
you know, the Hierophant is your energy. So you're following a set of principles that are based on moral principles. Like this is what you feel is right. This is what you feel you should do um, based on, you know, this is the correct way to do something. Now, the Nine of Cups is emotional. It has to do with the way you'll feel. So the way you'll feel when the justice comes in the sword, it's a double-edged sword of truth. So there might be, you know, maybe there was some painful information regarding this, but it will balance in your favor. It will go in your favor because the sun card here is in the environment. Happiness, something working out well, a blessing. So I will leave this here for you, Aries. This is your daily. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com and my shop. Thank you and take care.